Since preemptive war has become U.S. policy, the consequence has been war without end against terrorism. Terrorism is a tactic, not an opponent. Gandhi said, an eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. Bishop Desmond Tutu sees hope for people through forgiveness. Nelson Mandela was elected president. Apartheid was no longer the law of the land. But the nation's healing had just begun. Mandela asked Archbishop Tutu to chair the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Its mandate was to document the horrors of apartheid and to sow the seeds of reconciliation between blacks and whites. We do want to forgive, but I mean, we don't know how to, for who to forgive mm. because we don't know the killers, you know? He had a gun in his hand to point it at my forehead. The act of opening the magazine was the detonating device for a bomb. And then they said to me, today you are going to die. During that period, you were suffocated. How did you manage to sit there day after day and hear these stories of terrible things that people had been doing to other people? It was terrible, but and I, I cry easily. That is, I mean, I, I broke down on the very first day, uh, but I, I then said it wasn't fair. Uh, God, you couldn't allow this to happen uh, because the media then concentrated on me instead of on the people who were the rightful subjects, uh, the, the, the victims. And if I wanted to cry, then I would cry at home uh, or in church. Uh, but I was sustained by prayer, yeah. This report that your commission released has been called one of the most important documents of the 20th century. What would you like of it for the world to take to heart? I would hope, I mean, that the world would realize that there is no situation that is not transfigurable. That there is no situation of which we can say this is absolutely, totally devoid of hope. Because that is what people thought about South Africa. And that the star turns of this report are those we wrongly call just ordinary people. There are no ordinary people in my theology, but it is the small people, the ones who used to be non-entities. They are the stars. And for the world to know that those so-called ordinary people are incredible. What do you actually do when you forgive someone? Well, basically, you're saying I am abandoning my right to revenge, to pay back. I, I mean, I have. I, by the fact that you have abused me, you have hurt me, or whatever it is that you have done, you have wronged me, by that you have given me a certain right, as it were, over you, that I could refuse to forgive you. I could say I have the right to retribution. When I forgive, I say, I jettison that right, and I open the door of opportunity to you to make a new beginning. That is what I do when I forgive you. The, the Buddhist talk of letting go of the past, dying to the past when you forgive, of letting loose of the sorrow that you have brought with you from the past. Is that what you're talking yes, about? Sir. 
the, the thing is, of course, that I don't know that you yourself are able uh, by a, an act of will, as it were, to let go of the pain. Uh, the will part of it, where you will is deliberately to say, I am not going to let you victimize me and hold me in the position where I have an anger against you, a resentment, and I am looking for the opportunity to pay back. I am saying I want to let go of that, uh, that right, uh, and, and begin to work for the possibility of restoring the relationship. Do I have to do anything, the person being forgiven? For your own sake, the only way you can appropriate forgiveness is by confessing. That opens you. That opens uh, you to the possibility of being able to receive it. You, by your contrition and confession, or saying, I am sorry, forgive me, open, and my forgiveness enters your being. We're talking here about genocide, torture, are genocide and torture forgivable? As a Christian, you, you have to say, are there things that are unforgivable? I'm afraid we follow a Lord and Master who, at the point when they are crucifying him in the most painful way, can say, pray for their forgiveness. And we follow the one who says, forgive one another as God in Christ forgave you. That is, for us, the paradigm. We may not always reach to that ideal, but that is the standard.